There are 21 artists represented in Positive Fragmentation, which features more than 100 works drawn from the collection of Jordan D. Schnitzer and his family foundation. These artists use fragmentation both stylistically and conceptually to question and probe the status quo and to suggest and hypothesize different perspectives. The title of the exhibition is taken from a phrase coined by the feminist scholar and critic Lucy Lepard in an essay originally published in 1978. Lepard describes positive fragmentation, which she also calls the collage aesthetic, as particularly suited to historically marginalized artists as it, quote, willfully takes apart what is or is supposed to be and rearranges it in ways that suggest what could be. Taking this idea, positive fragmentation is divided into themes such as the body, environment, text, and even time. One of the first works you see is by German artist Christian Baumgartner. And her work is here along this uh, curved wall. This is a work from 2019 that she calls Stairway to Heaven. And then individually they're called Silver Rain, one through five. And you can see that together, this fragmented scene of a horizon line um, is showing us water and sky. And Baumgartner's work is about the fragmentation of, of this uh, horizon line, definitely, but it's also about the fragmentation of time in a way. What Baumgartner does is she captures video stills of an image and then she translates them into wood carvings. She hand carves these prints um, by herself, these enormous wood prints, and she's translating the negative and the positive space um, by carving into the wood. And so she's taking a digital element, a video element, and kind of reversing the time loop on it a little bit, right? Slowing it down into this very labor intensive handmade carving. And in doing that, she's really trying to get us to kind of slow down and think about the nature of time. And in particular, the nature of geological time and the distance between um, the time of a human lifetime and geological time. If we think about water and the ocean and the continual pounding of the waves, the incessant pounding of the waves, there's something uh, infinite about that that kind of dwarves individual human lifetimes. And so I like that this, this work works on both of these levels. It works, it's a fragmentation of a view, but it's also a fragmentation of themes in the exhibition is the fragmentation of the body, and this is something that a lot of contemporary artists, particularly women and non-binary artists, uh, do and engage in. And it's exemplified here in the prints by Carol Walker. These are two prints from a series she did in 2005, where she superimposes her very well-known silhouettes, these caricatures of black bodies, um, over 19th century vignettes of Civil War battlefields or other notable sites. They're often very saccharine images. And what she's done is superimpose um, body parts from these figures 
that really get to the gruesomeness of slavery. So instead of shying away from the abject, Walker is really here embracing it to communicate to the viewer the horrors of slavery, which of course were directly um, contributing to the Civil War. Many artists in the exhibition use fragmentation to create new meanings. So taking different elements and recombining them and putting them together in a different way. And that's evident here in the work of Wendy Red Star, who is using family photographs of cars decorated for Crow Fair, which is an annual gathering of Great Plains tribes. Uh, and you can see that they're decorated the way that horses would have been in days gone by. So in, in doing this, Red Star is really creating a new narrative, a new identity, new traditions for Native Americans. Um, using things like uh, the motifs found in Pendleton blankets, which are held in very high esteem in Native communities, as well as the par flushes that decorate the cars. The artist Lorna Simpson is very well known for using fragmentation in her work, both in terms of imagery and in terms of text. In this work here, simply entitled Wings, you see a collection of almost scientific-like specimens pinned to the wall. Different hairstyles, different wigs. Um, they're not attached to the body. They're not even attached to any heads. And in this very subtle way, Simpson is trying to get us to think about our preconceptions about who we think goes with each hairstyle or each hair piece. Um, and so it's really a way into questioning our own assumptions about race and gender. Yet another theme in this exhibition is the fragmentation of different environments, whether those are natural environments or architectural environments. In the work here by Nicola Lopez, her Urban Transformation series, we see these orbs of frenetically uh, assembled bits and pieces from uh, architecture, from urban planning, and they're really kind of these self-contained globes of energy bursting uh, out of the confines oftentimes uh, of the background that they're on. And I really get a sense of the hurried pace of city life from these prints. These are works that really reward the viewer for coming up close and looking carefully at them because to call them prints is a little bit misleading. They are so dynamic, um, actually three-dimensional. She's um, added different layers of different materials on them to really make them pop.